designer tutorial and I'd like to thanks again to the art of Patron for the support. This one we are going to create a water-like ripple effect which I call it optical flux. This simple setup we are going to use mostly in texture operators or pops. So let's jump right in. So let's start with changing our resolution for the container. 19, 20, and 30. I'm going to drag my background image. By the way, this art is part of my new experiment on an AI art. I just recently opened a new Instagram page. Um, it's going to be a posting for my exploration in the AI art world. Let's see where it goes. I'm quite excited. If you are interested, you can check it out here. It's called Hybrid Nemesis. So let's get back to our tutorial. We're going to use Lego or Color Correct. Want it a little bit darker. I to have it black and white. Get fit or make sure our resolution is correct. Go to fit outside. And before we make a resolution, let's have a center of resolution that bit chopped and let's grab constant equals first one going to be resolution X solution Y 20 and 80. Now we can click our resolution to fit. Okay. And we go to the palette. Let's get go to generator or no, image filter. We are going to use pixel relocator. Let's have our owl so we we'll see what's going on. Make the same resolution here and then let's drag it in, shop reference and let's set the weight to and this one going to be zero. Let's maybe split our screen so it's easier to see. This thing at the top out. Oh. We're going to use noise. Use the same resolution here as well. The pixel format is 32 bit load mono. The second, like always. The seat period. Let's get two harmonic one harmonic spread one point four. 
and I'm going to glue in this get 0 0.3 exponent is going to be very small 0 0.01 and this should be going to drag to 2 and offset we are going to make a 0 well, another thing in the transform here, we can make our X moving more stronger than the Y. So I'm going to make the X as 0 0.8 and Y can be 1.5 and sub 0 0.8 as well. So more like this kind of direction. And now let's copy and paste the noise for C control V. This one I'm going to connect here. Uh, we are going to change our setting here. So the period will be 1.4. One click this going to be 2 and how many spread 0 again also 0 and exponent will be 0 0.55 and which will be going to make very very small like 0 0 0, 0, 5. This one going back to offset 0 0.5. So, but I'm going to say the add time may be a lot slower, like 0 0.08. This. And we can connect to this. So we get closer what we want. Thing I'm gonna do is create right click here insert operator composite. We are going to composite with feedback tops so it's going to be maximum and from here we're going to get our feedback of the blade Level. Take away we drag the composite to tighten the top. Get the keyboard in for refreshing. Let's get back. Opacity of the level, we will make it 0 0.6. At blur, we are going to restream it to 2. And the side, not 20. Okay. Going to make another feedback actually. Let's get over. Get another feedback. 
make it really really smooth Here we're going to get another blur. Okay. And don't forget to drag over into the feedback target. Refresh. We get a lot smoother. Uh, in this blur, we're going to change to string two and into like fifteen look a lot smoother and you might notice because of pixel relocator you have this little bit ugly corner so I'm gonna Find it by adding transform by scaling it up by one. So a little bit cheating. So next thing we want to do is to get my favorite palette in image filter. Let's get. RGB delay. Red, fifteen, green, thirteen, blue, and eleven. RGB. It would be a little darker, I mean my background measurement at level. We actually got what we want. I have some tricks. So you can have some nice when it's shifting, you can have some extra line. I'll show you. Just grab a blur. And we're gonna connect here. Going to make reaching uh, type to gossip, reaching to two, you the ten sample step X, gonna make it like ten. So now you have a little. Kind of a little bit actual ripple, like a line when it's shifting. Make yeah, this smaller. It's a little bit more intense. You can see the line here. I find it very interesting. thing you can play around is you can combine with the pixelate. For example, design this kind of nice nice line from the blur. This and we get kind of nice when it moves. It's a way of making it interesting. It's 
is very satisfying when you see this combination. What it is for me. So, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. And see you guys next tutorial.